Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 9 of my Carl Franz campaign. A little, little bit of violin there. Very nice. Last time we declared war on Vlad because he's getting a little bit too big for his britches. So uh, we're going to take him and Skrullcon at the same time, if we can. And I did, yes. If we can just push Skrulk back... We should be okay. Let me keep him Brothers are around to help out. Um, there is a few Skaven armies wandering around. We've still got Scrag down here that we need to deal with again. I could bring Thyrus down to deal with him just once and for all, but I did just peace out with him, didn't I? Because he was he was marching on me. I don't think we've got the chance. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, fucking ogres. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe they'll kill him for me. Maybe I can get Balthazar down here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Either way, we managed to pummel Vlad, a couple of his armies, last episode. We're going to maybe try and take Warden. Warden? Word? It doesn't matter. Anyway, we've got Thyrus the second, because our armies are mostly just Thyrus at this point. We're just cloning him. It's a cloning program. I like Sontarans. Sontar, ha. I said Thyrus, ha. That kind of shit. It's all very, um, good, <laughs> potentially, doesn't, doesn't matter. So I need more money, so we're going to build that one there, good, okay, anywhere we can build cash, I'm going to build cash, because currently we have no cash, we have no cash, no, never mind. Bring me to my okay, okay, hammer, yes. stab him. I accuse. Accused the rat of being a rat. Turns out he was a rat. Guilty as charged. You little rat shit. Okay, we can repair that. Potentially get some cash from that. Build you. And then we can build some... Do I want to keep that? You know what? I'm going to keep that for the moment. Yeah. And then we're going to get more growth. Yes. Okay. Okay. Be at peace. For that is all I ever want. Hello, Skaskelton. Now, the, the, the good thing... What the fuck are these guys? Who the fuck are you? Why are you vampires with a tree thing? What's going on there? Yeah, I'll take a trade agreement, because that'll give me some cash. Some much-needed moolah. Hello? Wow, you're really coming at me, aren't you? It says close victory. It's a lot of stuff. But it does say close victory. I mean, Carl's a little bit... How? What level are these guys? Let's see. Ooh, you're level 25. I could pull back. Could pull back. Hmm. I. Mm, I think it's worth a shot. Okay, so, so, more undead to deal with. No problem, easy peasy, we've got this. No one panic. First things first, we need to take out their commands because, well, that'll help us kill the rest of them. So we've managed to lure this terror geist in, which is great. And we've managed to lure him into our guns. And the guns, of course, are pretty effective at bringing down large targets such as this. Turns out, although the night may be dark and full of horrors, you can just shoot it. Okay, terror guys down. Now, we've got Siegfried von Sinclair. Sinclair. This fucking guy. So he's coming. I thought there was another terror guy, but I guess there's only just just a terror one terror guy and him. Okay, we're gonna lure him in. 
Carl is going to pull, pull him towards us. Oh no, it's a feral manticore, sorry. Feral manticore's going to pull him towards us. The idea is that we, if we can tie him up with a feral manticore, then the guns can, you know, take time to just mow him down. Yeah, you see, it's a really bad idea to get into the range of all those guns, isn't it? Okay, we're going to have to get Carl to engage him. I do not want Carl to get shot, though. No, careful. Don't shoot the Emperor. Don't shoot your betters. Oh, there we go. Down he goes. Right, that's that one dead. And then we've just got a vampire to kill who is currently chasing poor old Bear Grylls around. Just going to pile on and uh, finish her off. Of course, that is going to cause some consternation amongst the undead army who are now a little bit sad because their general's dead good now you can see we're not corner camping because we're not in a corner so uh, there we go and the vampire army is slowly making its way towards us. Very slowly. I mean, I guess there's no rush. But maybe if you charged me, you'd take less damage? Or maybe you just moved your army up in one big lump rather than whatever the fuck this is? Yeah, see, no no rush. No rush. Only 41 leadership. Oh. That's going to get worse when they move into range of the guns and lose half their health in... Jesus Christ, they got so sad. <laughs> they took one volley. <laughs> they just got so sad. Holy shit. Well, they are super duper... Yeah, no, they, they're, they're, they're gone. Right, that's one unit of Cryptoras gone. Another unit of Cryptor is gone. We do have a unit of Blood Knights charging towards us. But the Halberdiers. Because the Halberdiers do have 16 bonus first large. And uh, charge reflection as well. So these Blood Knights are going to get staked through the fucking heart, mate. Not to mention they get their less bo bonus weapon damage because of old uh, Bear Grylls hanging over, over their heads. And we're also sending in uh, Pappenheimer to keep them busy. Gonna land Carlin to take out the enemy general. He's only a level three Strigoi Ghoul King. And the guns picking off undead units all over the place. Meanwhile, our knights are preparing to move around on the flat. I, I, I was being careful to try and just cover our rear. So if they had any flyers, they tried to land in amongst the handguns. Our knights could move in. However, it looks like they're not going to try that. They're just going to throw themselves at our front line, which is fine by me, to be honest. These Blood Knights trying again to break their way through the Halberdiers, and it's not going very well. So our knights now preparing to move around behind the enemy army and get some nice flanking charges in there. We have spotted some crypt ghouls. Now these guys, they are very light with only a 90 mass and our knights being at much more 1,000 mass. That means we can just mow through them like they're not even there. This is what we're going to do over here. We mow our way through the crypt ghouls and then we just ignore them. We're just like, nope, okay, we're leaving now, bye. You lose half your health, and the knights just move on. This is where I wish I had, like, a burning head, or a penumbral pendulum, or any kind of wind spell, or vortex spell, to be honest, would be really good. I'm going to get the mortars to target this little blob here, and we're going to hope that they don't drop mortar shells on our heads like they usually do.
So our knights are doing quite well, we're using the old soul fire there, and our knights on this flank are fighting some skeletal spearmen. The spearmen, I mean, they do have bonus first large, it's not great, the, the Reichsguard aren't really taking very much damage, but we're going to send bear growls, gr bear growls, bear grills in there to help a little bit. God, there's such a large blob here. God, I, what I wouldn't do for like a nice, oh, a final transmutation, pit of shades, anything really. But we've got absolutely no winds of magic because we've got, well, no winds of magic. But basically, there's we just aren't building any at the moment. There's no, we got, our, the cupboard is bare, as it were. Fortunately, it looks like with killing off the enemy command and just doing, you know, as much damage as we are to the enemy army they are starting to crumble away and the more damage we do the more units start crumbling and the more units that start crumbling well it's a, it's a chain reaction I'm pretty satisfied with that. Well, I'm not satisfied. With just how many of these fuckers got away? Bullshit. Never mind. That's four stacks of undead killed in one turn, which, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. Who the fuck are you? Oh, Runesmith. Right. Good. 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 And we're nice and replenished as well. Heroic Nightly Band. Uh, nah. I'm going to get Mentor. And I'm going to get Deadly Onslaught. I would really like to give you something. I'd like to give you some like uh, regeneration or something. Uh, Trickster Shard's trash. Scroll and Bleaching is trash. All of that's trash. Ready. Men, we must attack. God, they've got like two more fucking stacks. Onwards. It's like steady on, lads. I see no other option. No. Fucking Casper the friendly ghost over here. Such a thing is impossible. Will they throw that against me? Hmm. Get the sneakies. Ooh, the Royal Altdorf Griffites. Oh, God, you're back. And you're right over there. That's... That's bad. To the provinces. I'm going to have to send Why you to go and deal with that problem, aren't I? I mean, it'd be nice to finish him off. He don't, he's only got a little army, though. It's only 11 or 20. I mean, Torok is an army by himself, though, in fairness. Oh, we've got no winds of magic either. Fuck all. Uh, rubbish. Magical reserves. For all the magic that we don't fucking have. Boost income. And you are going to get involuble and impassioned. Just going to give you some, some decent... We've got dragon tooth, which is not bad. I mean, both of these are trash, so we confuse them. Get a forbidden rot. Hello. Now we're fucking talking. Now we're fucking talking. Love getting my hands on a forbidden rod. Okay. I will marshal the men. Let's bring Thyrus to come and assist us. We've got so much prestige. Prestige is not a problem. Money is the problem. Let's upgrade that one. Let's upgrade you. We can potentially get more cash there. Uh, I mean, anyway, we got how much money are we making from trade? Just out of interest. Two and a half k. It's not bad. Yes. What? What? Hail to your emperor, manlings. Do you want to be friends? Agreed. We should definitely be friends. We should definitely be friends. Income generated. Income from orbit. Boom. Boom. 
Boom. Yes. Yes. Right. Balthazar, you're going to guard that. Thyrus is on his way over there. Thyrus the second is on his way over to, to try and defend us against fucking Torok. Um, there's nowhere really we can land, but we could maybe retake that. Oh, I just need, I just need more cash. We'll see if we can fend off. Because I, I reckon those boys are going to come. And I could, I'm tempted to go into ambush stance, but I'm just going to sit here yes. in encampment stance and just let them come at me, basically. Oh, I tell you what you could do. Okay. I'm going to sit you in ambush stance and see if any rats decide to jump over and take a pop at you. Meanwhile, uh, right, we know that there's an army there. I just don't... Just don't... Oh, no, that's too expensive. Is that where heretics lurk? What? Yes. Onwards. Moving off. Yes, it is. Right. More trade, more money, more settlements, more killing fucking vampires. Come on, bring it, Vlad. You know you want to. I am Karl Franz. Hello? Join your war against... No, I'm at war with too many people. Marienburg. I don't have enough armies. Hello. Uh, I will hire nearby mercenaries. And... Oop. Okay. They d they didn't come at me. They they were scared. They really they didn't they did not want to fight me, did they? Well, that's tough, because I want to fight you. Uh, would that be a settled battle? I'm not entirely sure, but fuck it. Let's just go for them. Go for them. Kill them all. Is it a settlement battle? Let's find out. Uh, it is a settlement battle. Okay, but their reinforcements should be coming from outside the city. So we kill them first. And you know what? I don't think I've ever seen that settlement map before. Oh, yes, I have. I know which one it is. But yeah, it's like a, it's like a shrunk down major city map. Never mind. Right, okay. Well, we can kill off the reinforcements when they turn up, murder them. Then we can turn on uh, on the rest of the... Well, it's basically killing three stacks, isn't it? Carl, you got your, you got your work cut out for you. So, it appears, unfortunately, for the reinforcements coming onto the battlefield here, that because there's so many units in the city, that only a handful of reinforcements are coming... Basically, four units can come onto the battlefield. And, um... Once that once one unit dies, another one will come in, which effectively means we can kill the entire entire reinforcement army just one at a time. So while we bot the enemy general and mop up the grave guard here. We then have to take the rest of the city. And uh, I mean there is a lot of undead here. There's about six thousand undead all in all, which means we're outnumbered. Yeah, quite a lot. Five to one, maybe? I don't know. I mean, thankfully, the first 2,000 undead will be killed with without much trouble. However, then we're going to have to go into the city. There's like a little, oh, there's like a little camp over here. This is nice. Like a, I like that. A little bit of visual, visual map storytelling. I like that a lot. Like a little bit of city over here. Just you can't get into it, can you? Just sort of, just there. Yeah, that's quite nice. I mean, this map is quite good. I, I quite like this map because it does kind of have this. It, the the bisecting by the river does make it quite an interesting, interesting visual. Um, but it's it's definitely a map you don't see very often. I mean, to be honest, you don't get settlement battles very very often now, do you? Because people complained about how many settlement battles there were in the game because the AI always just ran away from you and you just ended up fighting minor settlement battles and so they, they fixed this by taking away all the minor settlement battles they, they kind of 
Okay, I'm going to be charitable here and say they knew there was a problem, but weren't given the resources to fix it, so they just had to patch it. That's what it feels. It feels like I'm sure they knew there are issues, but decided that basically it was too hard to fix. It was just easier to slap a sticky passer on it and hope for the best. That's, um, yeah. I mean, I guess it's an improvement, but... It has made... I think it's made settlements basically harder to defend to the point where I just don't really care anymore. It's why I think any faction you play where you don't need to defend settlements is just massively better. It's just a massively better experience. Factions like the Ch Warriors of Chaos, Beastmen, the Changeling, none of those factions really deal with settlements and frankly it's a much better game for it. To be honest, I, th I think the problem might be there's just... There's so many settlements that they become meaningless and then the battles become meaningless. But because the battles take, you know, 20, 25 minutes to fight sometimes, you, you get to the point where you just sort of kind of be bothered to fight this battle again and again and again. You know, like when the undead have their crisis and you end up having to fight the same army like four times in a row. That doesn't feel good, does it? Because you don't want to fight the same battle four times in a row. You want to fight a battle, have it feel satisfying, but also to feel like it's had an effect. Anyway, we're mopping up the undead here, just cleaning up the rest, the last of them. There's a, there's a couple of corpse carts left to come in. Otherwise, uh, they yet yeah, they've, they've had about 6,000 onto the battlefield. About 2,000 of them have died, so we have killed already about a third of the enemy army. It's not a bad start, is it? So as we mop up these corpse carts, I'm going to move the rest of my army up, and we're going to start taking the city. So we've got access to the city, and we're now moving in. We're going to send the halberdiers in, backed up by the handguns, and then everyone else. The Rights Guard currently holding back, but when I need them, they'll move in, take out this barricade, and then, well, basically we'll try, we'll try and lure them into combat here, and then we can break down the barricade and, you know, sweep through them. That's the plan anyway. So we've already killed about uh, a third of the enemy army, which was, all, I mean, that's pretty good, considering the number of casualties we sustained was minimal. How about it? I mean, they're not amazing troops, but... You know, 67 melee defense. Bonus first large, armor piercing. You know, it's all right. Doggos engaging us, but charging directly into us. Probably not the best of ideas. Skeleton warriors also going to be fairly easy to dispatch. Why are you sad? Blood roar. What the fuck is blood roar? Weird. What the fuck is blood roar? Is that you? Oh yeah. Oh, apparently it's like a griffin thing. Huh. I never knew. Anyway, the enemy general is going to try and take out Carl. That's a bad idea. Considering Carl has already murdered four undead armies, and uh, now this dickhead wants to go. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I have staked better vampires than you, mates. More and more undead are feeding into the grinder. God, I wish I had some AoE spells. The right guard now prodding that barricade to death. Good stuff, gentlemen. Bats trying to attack the handgunners. Not being very effective. We did get a, a flock of doom on them. Which is not bad. A little bit of effect there. I should have made some spaces between my halberdiers so the guns could shoot. 
Not really a big deal. Uh, we can use a... What the fuck is this ability? Soul... Soul burn, soul something, something about soul. Soul fire, there we go. It's nice little AoE. It's only centered around him, but uh, he does have 100... Jesus, got 132 kills. God, Adolphus. Yikes. Okay, there goes the Barricade, which means the Reichsguard are now free to engage. More and more units now feeding into this, which is great. We are going to take out that tower, though. Of course, towers can't be replaced now, which means they're effectively useless. Um, it's kind of a buff for the player, I think, that one, because the AI never really uses towers particularly effectively. So it's pretty easy for the player to kill them off. And the AI often ignores towers. Or at least they're not really a priority. So you can you can use them quite effectively. More and more. Throwing themselves in their little flock of doom. Not overcasts, but that's okay. Let's get in there. Okay, here come the right guard. Lovely little rear charge there, managing to cause a lot of these units to start to waver. Not to mention we get another soul fire. And that's right in the middle of the enemy, which, oof. 202 kills. Dolphus is doing Sigmar's work. Carl takes on some Grave Guard over here just to kind of keep them busy. I mean, looking at numbers, the enemy are down to about half strength. Doing another little charge just to try and break the last of them. And that is going to be pretty effective. You can see panic. Well, I mean, not panic, but, well, they're crumbling. The magic animating them is crumbling away to nothing and there we go the, that large blob of enemy units just disintegrates oof that was uh that was pretty brutal and the enemy have lost a lot of their units right guard turn and charge yep i mean we, we we're, we're being very efficient here Like, just taking this section of the city has proven to be pretty easy, and to do that, they have expended a significant portion of their strength just to manage to kill off a handful of our guys and waste barely any ammunition. I mean, in fairness, we have run out of mortar shots, so if anything, we're safer than before. Well, all right. I, we, we've almost ran out of mortar shots. How many shots have you got left? It isn't many. It's like, what? They've got one shot left. So we're pretty fucking safe. A bit of a standoff. And guns doing a right number on those graveyard and causing them to start to waver. The corpse cart being picked off as well. If we want to cross this bridge, we're going to bring up some heavy artillery to help knock out these units over this side. So we're going to bring up the cannons to uh, to shoot across there. We also want to move some more units over here and try and clean out all of this. And go and grab this objective over here. The, the Most of the enemy units are over this side of the river. There's only a handful of them. I'm, I'm hoping that if we kill a few more, it should break the enemy army. I mean, we have... Yeah, we, we've killed two-thirds of the enemy force so far. And I say, 
we we started off with a, with 1521 we've we oh, we still got 1385 we barely lost anyone like very limited casualties we have absolutely slaughtered the enemy army in comparison so we're just going to bring up the cannons so i'm going to cut forward a little bit just like last time because again it takes a little while to get the cannons into range cannons are now in position and have so far missed okay there we go that was slightly better now if this doesn't get their attention at least force them away from the I mean, otherwise they just stand there and get shot with cannonballs which not ideal Are you just literally going to sit there and get shot by cannonballs? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly what they're going to do. All right. Moving halberdiers and some great swords up to engage the crypt ghouls. Carl's going to swoop down on some crypt horrors over here. Just fucking murder him. Meanwhile, Cryptoras are yep, literally just standing there. I thought maybe as soon as I started hitting them with a the cannon, they would they would start advancing on me, and then I could use, use old Pappenheimer to hold them in place while the guns just riddle them with bullets. But they they're literally just sitting there, letting me shoot them with cannonballs, which is well, it's it's a bold play, Cotton. Let's put it that way. Meanwhile, Carl is taking a little bit of that. You know what? I ge gen generally, I don't really rate Crypt Horrors very highly, but they're actually, they're, you know, they're doing some damage to Carl there. They're doing some damage. I mean, they, you know, they're getting wrecked, but they're doing some damage. Meanwhile, the Halberdiers mopping up those Crypt Ghouls, and Carl does have the upper hand against the Crypt Horrors. He is, he is taking them out. Good job. And I've started crossing the river, Pappenheimer, and the handguns also moving up. They're now in range, and yep, they die almost immediately. And with their death, the entire garrison starts to waver, crumble, and disintegrates. Well, that's a lot more undead dead. Bring me to my men. Right, let's give that back to Sterland. With any luck. In camp. No, shit. Uh, right, if I kill you. What I would like to do is to march back into friendly territory. There we go. It, okay, Sterling still has some stuff. You know what? We didn't make anywhere near as much money as I thought we would. Never mind. Let's go and, let's go and see if there's ratties here. There's almost certainly ratties here. There's ratties here, yeah. The fuck is that? Grand Cauldron. Spices, wine, control, growth. Right, and it's also a capital settlement. I think... Oh, they've got two capital settlements. Oh, I was really hoping they wouldn't. I was really... I'm hoping that Avalon are getting their shit together and are potentially starting to look at, you know, fighting back. Uh, is Torok a problem? You know what, I'm just going to ignore that problem and drink heavily. Got a better idea? I'd like to fucking hear it. Okay, let's upgrade to the Imperial Harbour, because that's more money. You're just sitting there for the moment. I know there's more rats around here somewhere. They're hanging around. Just waiting. Right, we'll get we'll get this. That's gonna give me more melee defense. That'll keep you safe. You, I'm just gonna tick. Do whatever you like. You, I'm going to get tenacity. 
Balthazar's staying right there. We are going. Yep. Yeah, I mean, may as may as well spend the cash. I know Torok is rolling around. Okay, you could be better at assassinating because, to be honest, that's probably the best option. Okay. 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 I mean, imagine that Vlad is probably drop. Oh, you would peace out with me. You would peace out with me. I'm not surprised. I have I've fucked you up, mate. Like, you just got. You got carled. You got franzed, baby. Holy shit. It's like six stacks in two turns, just wiped. And he's got more. And he's got more. The saucy bard. Uh, Sterland wants a confederation. No. No, thank you. Oh, I need to. I need to kill you. I definitely need to kill. Oh, it's Vlad himself. It's Vladdy Vladington, the Vladster. V Dog, as I like to call him. <sighs> right. I think we need to kill you, and then we need to kill you. And then ideally we need to kill. Like I, I feel like. I do not bandy words with the weak. Right, your strength rank fifty one now. You've you've dropped massively. So I think we've wiped out most of your armies. So we're going to sail up the coast here. We're going to retake all of this for Sterland, and we're going to kill Morga because fuck that guy. However, that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.